what are some of the things that we can learn from stand-up comedians to engage the audience better? What, what are some of the insights that you would have as a person whose fundamental role is to be able to engage the audience? Two simple tips. One, customization. Right? It's got to be about them. And secondly, engagement. Make it interactive. Today, for me, my competition as a comedian during lockdown is Netflix. It's not another comedian. It's Netflix. Why should I watch Papa CJ when I can turn on Netflix and have a thousand comedy specials at my disposal? Why? Because so, for example, I did a corporate event on the 29th of December, three days ago for a law firm. Mm -hmm. Before I got on the show, I had masala about every partner, every senior associate, every associate. My first 25 minutes was purely about them. Right. And the fun is in being able to take that material and connect different dots. So, for example, there is a partner in the firm called Jehan who's recently had twins. The information I had about him is that, oh, you know, uh, when he picks up one subject, he talks about it for a long time, for two years. Like he was on a keto diet. He went on and on and on about that. So one of the jokes I cracked is that, you know, I was speaking to Jehan and he was he kept telling me about this keto diet. He's like, CJ, you should try this keto diet. I got on it. I've become twice as productive. You know, in fact, before the keto diet, I was only expecting one child. But now I have twins. <laughs> so, so and, and I think that's how stand up is incredibly useful from a business point of view as well, because mm. we are able to take disparate pieces of information and somehow connect them to create value. I think the interactivity is very important. You and I here can talk about whatever we want. People listening might get bored. Frankly speaking, I don't care about your questions, Abhijit, with all due respect. I mean, I do. Sure. But for me, I would much rather answer the questions coming in from people because then Probably. we are only talking about what they are already interested in. We don't have to try and be interested, uh, sorry, engage them because they're yeah. leading the entire discussion.